Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to my shop today. We're going to be working on something kind of fun. We got cast up a hybrid blank, but instead of wood, what we have in here is we have some aluminum honeycomb from a laser engraving table. We cast this honeycomb up it went into some blue alumilite with some silver powder, and then we're going to be doing this into just a, a chrome Sierra blank because I just want to test real quick to see how this is going to work. Because if it works, I already showed one of these other blanks to my dad, and his birthday's coming up, so I'm going to be making some of these for him if this turns up okay. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how it turns out. So we've got our index point marked here as to where we're going to cut it off. We're going to now take the tube and see exactly how long we're going to need it. We're going to mark it there. And then we're going to make that line a little longer. And we'll get this cut off. So far so good, even though it's got the metal honeycomb in there, it's still cut just as if it weren't even there. So it felt real good. Show you the other opposite end here, you can actually see the aluminum right in there. So you can see where it, uh, the lines form right there. So yeah, turned out pretty nice already. Alright, let's get this flat faced off. I could kind of feel like it wasn't catching, but it did seem a little bit more grabby with the skew because I got, you're cutting through that metal. So it feels a little bit more grabby, but not bad. Steel still cut it right through. So we'll get the uh, drill bit chucked into here and we'll get this drilled. All right, we got our center bit chucked in here. So let's go ahead and center it up and then we'll drill it through. All right, 2764th bit, here we go. They have a little bit of chip out right here at the front where a little piece got real thin right there out at the edge. So I'm kind of concerned about the adhesion that we have of the Alumilite to the aluminum. But the back side there looks real good. Let's see if our tube fits through. And how much of a gap play we have. It always seems like I always have a little bit of a gap every time that I do one of these. Yeah, and I've got a gap this time too. You can see it right there, a little black space right out at the sides. Maybe I'll grab my second blank, my other half, which is long enough for the tube. I think I'll try drilling a ten and a half millimeter and we'll see if that won't work better. Okay, so I'll grab my ten and a half millimeter out of my American Patriot fountain pen kit uh, box and I'm gonna get this drilled with a ten and a half millimeter see if we don't get a tighter fit. I find that sometimes with acrylics I have to drill with a ten and a half millimeter for a Sierra kit and 2764 so if you're using wood. So well, I'll bet you I'll get a better fitment with this ten and a half millimeter instead of the 2764. Just seems to work out that way. I know that it calls for a 2764 but with acrylic it doesn't shrink back down whereas wood after you drill it it shrinks down slightly and so using a 2764 with that one works but using acrylics you have to use a ten and a half it just gets a better fitment so we'll do this here Alright, no chipping, no cracking on the back. Looks good on the front. See how our barrel fits through. Look at that. Much tighter fit. No gap in between. We'll get this glued up. 
Okay, we are ready to glue up this honeycomb hybrid blank. Um, Want to take a look at it there? We've got our honeycomb and set in there. We've got honey, you know, you can see it all it goes all the way through to the back side and all the way through to the front. And all these silver splotches are the silver powder that we actually put inside the blue alumalite when I cast it up. So we're going to get this put in here, but first, look how shiny this brass is. Isn't that nice? We got to ruin that. We got to get that all scuffed up. That way, we get a proper adhesion from our CA glue. So we just get a piece of sandpaper and just swirl it around. That's much better. We have our thick CA. And we are going to squeeze this out. Get this outside with some activator here. Alright, let's take a bamboo skewer and dribble it down here. Okay, we'll let that sit overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow. We will true it up and then we will get it turned. Okay, so our glue set on this overnight, so I'm going to take my uh, barrel trimmer and I am going to get this trued up on the face here and then I'll flip it around and get it trued up on the back face and then we will get to turning this. Nice clean hole there. Got a little glue down inside. I'm going to have to clean out by hand but now we'll get to the other side. It looks like this side I might actually be able to trim off the face there. I don't know if you can see the brass down inside. Let me get a light on it. See the brass down inside of there. So I've actually got a little distance to go. So I think I'll cut that off first and then I'll go in and actually uh, barrel trim it. I can go just a little bit further. All right, we'll barrel trim from here. Good shiny surface on that face. Looks like we are ready to get this turned. I'll clean out some of the glue on the inside there. We're good to go. Okay, so we've got this put on the mandrel here. We're going to turn up our speed and uh, put a nice sharp edge on our scraper. And I'm going to be putting on my respirator mask because I do not want to be breathing in any of this aluminum dust. So you will not be hearing me speak a whole lot throughout as I'm turning this because, well, it's going to sound a little something like this. And that's not very good for video quality. So I said that chunk fly up, but it looks like I'm going to get down to the bushings past that, so I think it's okay for now. Small chip out right there that we'll work on. Alright, let's get this cleaned up and we'll get to sanding.
All right, I'm gonna go forego the sanding process. I got a pretty good finish on here. I'm gonna hit it with some heavy grit polish paper and we'll go from there. Looks like I do need to do some sanding down there because this isn't going to get that far down. Let's do some 600 here. Looking pretty good. I'll hit it with some lighter grits and we'll polish it up. Hit with a little Dr. Kirk scratch free. We'll see how this looks. Wow, that's pretty. All right, on to assembly. Time to assemble our Sierra pin kit. We're gonna get this put together. So I love these Sierra pin kits because they go together really simply. All you have to do is press the rear end into the body, assemble the front assembly, press it together and you're good to go. Uh, it's really super simple. The only thing that I do not like about it is that look at how thin the walls end up on this kit. So if you don't get a good glue up, between the brass and the resin or the wood, depending on what you're gluing up, you will definitely have this blow apart. I watch a lot of videos and I see a lot of guys gluing, or glue, <laughs> sorry. I watch a lot of guys gluing theirs up and then I see them blow apart and I go, yep, that was a bad glue up right there is what that was. But look at how that thing shimmers in the light. That is absolutely beautiful. That's that silver alumilite powder that I mixed into the resin when I was casting this up. I've got to do a casting video for you guys of me doing this process because this looks really, really neat. I got to use that silver powder more often because I really love how it just glints like that. It really reminds me, and this is actually the effect that I was going for, of the Patriot Kieranite blanks how that glints the light off of it and reflects it like that, to get that focus, there we go. How it glints off the blue blank. There's gotta be silver powder in there too because that's the exact same effect that I'm getting off of this blank here too. So let's go ahead and get this pressed together. The only thing that we have to decide is where we want our clip to go. I, when I glued this up, I didn't mean to do this, but the top of it here actually has a gap from this point here to the top that does not have any of the honeycomb pattern to it. I meant to glue it up on the other end. And then when I glued it, I glued it from the wrong end and I tried to push it through, but the glue had already set and it was in place and it was very firm. So I could not push it through to the other side so that way I'd have less of this space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that to the top. That way you have more of the honeycomb pattern down here toward the bottom. And I'm gonna put it in the middle. That way on the sides you have, you can actually see the hexagons. So I'm gonna put it right down where we get this wide pattern section here. Press this together. And it goes together simply, just like that. And then all we have to do, we take our ink and our spring and you notice on the spring, it does have a smaller section that goes on to the top of your ink and the wider section goes down here. Take off that little rubber tip that's on there. Just took that off. This just goes into our front assembly. Transmission goes and screws on just like so. Then we press that together. And that's done. Look at that. That is a beautiful pen. I could not be happier with that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Check it for function. It goes in, out, out, and in. Yeah. I have to start carrying that one at work. That's pretty nice. The chrome on there really accents the aluminum honeycomb. They really match nicely. Again, all I wish is that I had 
gotten the honeycomb to go all the way to the top. I think that would have been perfect. All right, thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. We got that blue honeycomb blank turned up and it looks nice, it held together. And what I was testing there was to see how well Alumilite will bond to that honeycomb. I know that uh, Zach over at NV Woodworks uh, does these and he's doing a lot of them lately. And uh, he really inspired me. Thank you, Zach, so much uh, for for putting those videos up so that way we can see how it's done. Us ordinary folk that don't do this all the time, we do it just kind of out of hobby. Uh, he does some awesome videos. Go check Zach out. I'll see if I can't put a link uh, over here on the side here in a moment. Um, the only thing that I didn't do that he does was I did not soak my honeycomb in acetone. And so uh, that was an accident. But I wanted to see if they still held together even though I didn't soak it in acetone like he does. And sure enough, they did. I only had just like one piece fly off there when it got down super thin and it chipped off the aluminum, but it was far enough out that I was still able to lay it the rest of the way down. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll put a subscribe button right down here for you. Uh, go ahead and check out some of my other videos here. Check out Zach at Envy Woodworks right here, and then uh, I'll have another video posted for you here, chosen specially for you. Thank you so much for joining me in the shop. Tactical Painter at Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out.